Hi everybody, my name is Chris from Reading Town and thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. Now I want you to try looking at this picture here. Look at this box. Now try to guess what it is. What do you think it is? Well, when I first saw this box, it kind of looks like a beehive or maybe a house for some kind of an animal. They wanted to make it look pretty. But actually, inside this box, are very special scientific tools or equipment or things that scientists use, right? So this is actually a house for the weather, right? <laughs> it's going to measure the weather. So the weather forecast, the forecast is when we see the news and we see the people telling what the weather will be like for the day. So Monday it will rain, Tuesday it will be sunny, Wednesday it will be a little cloudy. That sort of week schedule for the weather, we call that a weather forecast. We're going to see into the future or predict the future. Tells the weather for the next hour, day or week, right? For the whole week. Meteorologist, uh, these are scientists that study the weather and climate and things like that. Use instrument shelters. Instruments are tools and shelter is a safe place. So they put a safe place to put their tools and instruments and the things that they use, sort of like a tool case, uh, to measure the temperature anywhere and any place. So they put the special tools in there. It's a very safe place. It's a shelter and it measures how hot or how cold the weather is. The shelters are made of white wood and are found on grass fields. They're white and we can see them on the fields, right? Not in the city or anything like that. The walls are made from screens that lessen the effects of the sun and let the breeze come through. So we see here there's screens. It's not 100% closed. We can see inside it because uh, they are screens, right? Screens means it's small openings here, okay? Sort of like when we, ha we have screens on our windows so that the mosquitoes cannot come in, right? We have a mosquito screen. This is just a regular wooden screen. And so it blocks the sun, but it also lets the air come inside, right? It blocks the sun, lessens it, it makes it weaker, and lets the breeze or the wind come through. Inside, they are filled with different tools like a thermometer and different you know, barometers that measures air pressure and things like that, that measure the wind, temperature, and water in the air. So these tools, they see how much wind is there. Is it a strong wind? Temperature, is it hot or is it cold? And how much water is in the air? Is it going to rain? Is it very dry? Okay, so uh, this is a sort of the inside of the weather shelter. We have three review questions here. A, the shelters are blank on grass fields, right? So if we want to go looking for these white shelters, where can we find them, right? Well, when something, when we find something, right, that thing is being found. Okay, so found is a part of speech that's similar to find. So for example, if I eat a cheese, the cheese is eaten, right? If I find this weather shelter, this shelter is found, all right? B. Meteorologists or scientists that study weather use instrument shelters. They use this to blank the temperature. So again, these are scientists, right? Scientists don't really care about feelings or emotions. They only care about something that they can see and measure. Measure means they want to know exactly the number to what they want to find. So what is the temperature? Well, they want a number. They want to say 30 degrees. They don't want to say, oh, it's a little hot or it's a little cold. They want to know exactly what's the number for the temperature, right? What's the speed of the wind? See, the weather blank tells the weather 
for the next hour, day, or week, or you know, months. So again, when we watch the news, they give us a schedule for the week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's going to rain. Thursday, Friday, it's going to be sunny. We call this schedule for weather a weather forecast. So forecast means we're sort of predicting what will happen in the future, uh, you know, about the weather in this case. All right, we have three review questions here. A, the screens let the blank, remember the screens are the wooden sort of walls that have holes inside, and they let the breeze or the wind blank through. So this is talking about different tenses. Came is past tense, 과거. Coming is 현재, 진행. And come is the 현재, right? So what the screens do is that at any time, at all time, 언제나, it lets it come through. So when we are talking about uh, at any time, always, we say come. Or we use the present tense, right? So birds, birds fly, that means at any time, birds, you know, fly, right? We're not talking about right now flying, or we're not talking about flu one time. We're talking about at any time, 언제나, birds fly, at any time, the breeze come through the screen. So B, the instrument shelters are blank with different tools. So inside those white boxes, those weather shelters, they're inside them are different tools. So this is talking about the past, right? In the past, when they were setting it up, the scientists put them there and they sort of, you know, put it inside in the past, right? So which word here is talking about the past or 과거? And it is filled, right? The instrument shelters are filled with different tools. C is also very similar to this. We want to find the past tense form of this. The instrument shelters are blank of white wood, right? So which one here is the past tense? Well, it is made. Before, it was made and it was finished, right? So they are not making it always or they're not making it later. They're not making it now. They made it once in the past and finished it, right? It, it just starts and finish. So that is why we use made. So these two questions, we want to find the past tense, right? Do they always make the shelter? No, they make it once. Do they always fill it every day? No, they fill it once and they stop. This one, the wind, does the wind come once and then stop? No, the wind always comes, so that's why we have to use the present tense, all right? So the next time any of you see an instrument shelter, please don't touch it, right? But you can look and try to see, you know, where it is or how big it is or if you can see any scientists around there measuring their temperature. All right, so thank you for joining us today for Kids Times. My name is Chris from Meeting Town. I'll see you next time.